Um, I am new to Career this meeting Source. meeting is being recorded. That was loud. Um, I'm new to Career Source. I've been here, like Salima said, about a month. Um, I'm actually new to Florida in general. I'm from Northern Pennsylvania. I just got here at the end of February, um, so I'm excited to be here. Um, new to the workforce development side of the world, but I, uh, for the last about nine years have worked um, with the VA in some way, shape, or form, whether it's at the county, state, or federal level. Um, and so a lot of veteran experience and uh, initiatives that um, I've helped foster along the years, and I'm excited to get this program off the ground and running. And uh, so I just want to piggyback off Salima. Um, you know, coming into here, we, this program is, is, is brand spanking new and uh, um, a, a lot of curveballs and things like that. But um, I've, I've worked alongside some of you already, and I want to um, extend a, a thank you to each and every one of you that had my back thus far and just know that I'm not going to stop leaning on you going forward. So I apologize in advance for that, but I need you. Um, with that being said, I'm going to share my screen and we'll go ahead and get started with the, uh, the PowerPoint here. Um, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, let's see here. I apologize, I gotta figure out how to uh, move this. Sorry, technical difficulty. Give me one second here. There we go. How's that? We only see the blue screen with the window. Oh boy. All right. Um, now we see the PowerPoint. I think we just have to go to presentation mode. I cannot get out of this. Now we're back to the blue screen with the window. Okay. All right. Here we go. Is that better? Yep. And then if we go to display settings. Slim, I'm trying. It's it's showing up because I have the two monitors and then my laptop, and so I can't mouse on my laptop. Okay, no problem. Computer. Just go from there. It's fine. Okay. All right. So, um, can everybody see the flyer on the on the on the slideshow? We're yes. looking at the, the first yes. screen. Okay. So the flyer is pulled up right now. Or is it the first screen of the slideshow? It's the first, the first screen. screen of the slideshow. And then the next slide, there's a little snippet of the Get There Faster flyer. Okay. Yeah, I'm not having any luck with this. Okay. So I'm just going to go through it. Um, I apologize. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm, it's for some reason it's not connecting from my laptop to the actual monitor. So I'm just going to go through it. Um, so the grant overview, uh, Career Source Tampa Bay in collaboration with the Career Source Polk uh, recently received a $3.1 million grant to expand training for the region's veterans. 
transitioning service members, and military spouses. Uh, the grant is funded by the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity, Career Source Florida, and the U.S. Department of Labor. Um, Get There Faster was awarded um, this past November. Um, we have officially launched and uh, are working on our um, total of five intakes thus far that we're uh, getting ready to try and uh, work through in place at this point. Um, the program is designed to run for two years uh, and assist 200 individuals out of the North Florida office and then um, 50 out of Polk County. Um, Career Source Tampa Bay and Career Source Polk um, are going to use accelerated training mod models to provide a pathway to high demand positions in two sectors specifically, um, IT and uh, aviation. Uh, one of the ways in which we're going to do that is through OJT, and many of you on this phone call are um, already have experience in the OJT programs. So we're going to mirror a lot of a lot of that. Uh, one of the OJT programs that we're excited about is um, called Troops to Technician, and that, that's a partnership through PEMCO, and uh, we'll go into more detail about that. But essentially, it's a uh, it's an earn and learn employment model where participants may upgrade, retool, and increase employability skills. Um, the OJT addresses local employers' workforce needs, enhances the skills of the participants, and aids employers in attaining qualified, skilled workforce with the companies that are needed. Um, so essentially, the participant begins training as a brand new employee and receives training at the workplace under appropriate supervision, and they acquire occupational skills and knowledge and on the, in an on-the-job training environment. Uh, like I said before, we're excited to have Airborne Maintenance and Engineering Services at PEMCO. And as our key employer for that, um, they have the ability to hire up to 125. Um, I don't know that we'll need that many, but it's an amazing opportunity to have that much access to, uh, to answer our aviation uh, need. Um, so specifically the program through with PEMCO is called Troops to Technician. Um, and what, uh, Career Source Tampa Bay and Polk, um, in collaboration with Airborne Maintenance and Engineering um, and McDill Air Force Base, uh, started a career training 